What's up nerds, I'm the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Tiny Survivor. And today we're gonna go with a six shield run. Because the creator of this game posted a short clip of them playing a six shield run. But I'm gonna be honest, I had to restart a few times because the, the bonuses here are, uh, what's the word, random. And I want the plus 25% AOE size. Uh, and I mean, we're lucky and the game starts us with a tier two shield. Question is if that will be enough, because yes, it is quite strong. Like weapon damage, we got enough. And every eight seconds we get more critters than just with a level one shield, but we only have one weapon to start with, so... Is that really that helpful? We will see. Seven more seconds, six more seconds. We got some critters we actually dodged. Yep, that looks good. We survived the first round. All right. Crit damage, no damage. Weapon speed wouldn't be bad. AOE size and crit damage. Technically, I want, you know what? Yeah, I want AOE size. Um, Smite random enemies. The only thing that I'm not quite sure is like attacks with um, different things. Like, do I even get AOEs? I think with a fire shield, with an upgraded fire shield, I would get AOEs. And I think the smiting has some AOE potentials, right? I think, I feel like, I hope so. Otherwise we just have a shield run and useless AOE. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but out, <ow>, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a basically pre planned run, though my planning went as far as oh, AoE shield looks good. Don't know if that's actually <laughs> if that's actually gonna work the way I wanted to. Uh, let's go for weapon speed. I mean, since the game offers, let's go with that. And you know what? For now, let's just get a third weapon just to have it. Because just with two shields, things are kind of getting dicey, I would say. Also, let's just switch to someone else. Let's switch. You know what? Yeah, sure. Let's switch to the wizard. Because the cowboy we've already, already played as. Does it make a difference? It absolutely doesn't. At least as far as I know. Would be interesting, but weird, if the, <laughs> if the dev implemented something like... The wizard is more likely to get something and the demon is more likely to get other things. I would highly doubt that. So let's go with pure damage. All right. Let's get the next shield. Let's get this shield. So four shields, we have increased dodge chance and holy gain 3% pickup range for every 15 kills. Resets on hit. Okay. I don't know if that's gonna be too useful and also yeah I with different shields we get different abilities I think with fire like with uh, upgraded fire weapons you get fire AOE or was that something that can happen to just generally fire elementals if you're lucky I'm not sure I'm once again not sure also, the smite circle that we had with our smite build last time. I'm once again, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. We're gonna just, just try and see. 10% damage, yes, please. Another shield. So we have nature, we have uh, holy, and we have fire. So all we're missing now is a second fire shield. We're gonna look for that one. If we find an ice shield, we might go for it for now. But I want I want fire and I want holy. And nature with the critters, it's it's useful because every few seconds I just get uh, basically I get help. And isn't that what we all need at point at times help? <laughs> I, yeah. This is not a cry for help, by the way. This is just me being silly and stupid. Just so that, just saying that, just so that nobody uh, thinks like 
<laughs> anything weird. All right. Um, apply. Ooh, apply 20% of this weapon's base damage to all other weapons. It is a shield, so it's not like it has a whole lot of base damage. But still, that increases the damage of all the others. If you increase the damage of uh, nature shields, that means that their critters are stronger. So overall, I think that's not a bad idea. And next, like after this level, I think we're gonna try and like scout for the last fire shield. Just because it would be nice to have six shields, but also if we find upgrades beforehand, like upgrades of other shields, then of course we're gonna take those because they are useful. All right, 2% damage, 10% dodge chance. Let's use that. Oh, there it is. There it is. So now we have plus three health. Oh, that's good. All damage against enemies inflicted by burn is increased by 10% per stack of burn. That's not bad. And now, oh my goodness. Now, all we need is to upgrade some of these to rank 3 so that we get the second ability. And hope for the best. Hope for some AoE because I kind of really want that. <laughs> this game is... It's weird how... Kind of addicting it is and not addicting in a way like i said i think in the very first uh in the very first video it's not in a way where i'm like okay i play this game 10 hours and then realize oh shit i played it for 10 hours straight definitely not but more of a you know i could play for i could play a run or two of tiny survivors you know i could just just go and play five minutes of this uh, i could play a run of that, just generally, okay. Periodically ignite everything around you, dealing 40 weapon damage over five seconds. I think, damn it, we're not enough. Uh, and while sending still smite one enemy every three seconds, that's good. But I think that's an AOE, right? Or is it just that it burns everyone and that's it? I mean, so far we haven't seen any AOE, so it could just be... But wait, was it every few attacks or was it uh, every few seconds? I totally didn't. <laughs> Why? I just read it, you know? Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes. Okay, so it's an AOE, which means with increased AOE chance or AOE percentage, we gain more. AOE size, that's what I wanted to say. Um... Other things would be would have been better things, but I want AoE. Oh, applies 80% of this weapon's base damage. I mean, we're definitely gonna buy that, and we are shy one. Damn it! Periodically ignite everything around you. Like, but <laughs> periodically, I get it. But just what periods? <laughs> periodically just means every now and then, or this. I just... whatever. So, every whatever many seconds or other measurements of time, we will have an AoE that burns enemies. Yeah. Thing is, it burns and then it takes a second or so, or so to actually activate. But it's still quite strong, so we should be good. Now, sadly, with the holy stuff, Think, did we see what else? I, I I feel like we saw that it isn't what I want. Damn it. Let's go for this. Damn it. Deal 160 weapon damage over time. Damn. But we don't have the money for it. If we lose this run in, let's say, under 15 minutes which is highly likely, <laughs> generally. Um, then I think I'm just gonna try one more run with just blades. I kind of want to go for blades. Six blades. Or maybe we just look at the starting option, like uh, the starting options of weapons and decide on whatever bonus they give us in the beginning. Because I do like the full this element and full this element type of runs 
And I think just full on weapon type runs could also be very, very useful or very, very doable. Okay, smite two random enemies on crit. That's all right. It's not great, but that's all right. I want that. Oh, let's try one more time. Ooh, while standing still, smite one enemy every second. Okay, so they have different bonus abilities. So there is a chance that this would be a different AOE, I think. And yeah, whatever. <laughs> so let's stand still so that we actually smite some enemies. Plus we have the AOE that I want to increase even more. Like, I know we would have to play, we would have to survive so long for this to happen, but just think about the AOE, the fire AOE, being as big or almost as big as the whole arena. That would be fun as hell. Again, you would need so many percentages of AOE increase. I think you would have to go to like level 80 or something, and that's definitely not feasible. Don't even know if there is a level 80, if it's just if it just keeps going. Okay, that actually worked really well. Uh, we're gonna go with AOE size and oh yes. Oh come on. Are you You know what? That is stupid. I get it. I get it. I get it. That was stupid. We have one less weapon. We uh, have lost our nature bonus, stuff like that. But it's just, I think, maybe, it's the better thing to do. Also, oh shit, we lost our bonus 3 HP. Because <laughs> we don't have 6 shields anymore. Uh, okay, someone screwed up. Might have been me. Like, let's not point fingers, but it might have been me. You know? But every other shield is just way stronger now. Because, what was it, 106? Oh no, wait, the... The shield that gives its damage is the other nature shield. Is this one, right? Yeah. This one just increases the fire by a lot. You know what? AOE size burned. After every three crits spawn 12 fissures that each deal up to 240% weapon damage. I mean. You know? I basically just mean. Times 1.75 weapon speed while standing still. I mean, you know? I just mean, I should have bought any weapon. Right? I should have just bought a weapon. Come on, start with the fire, please. Start with the fire. Okay. Good thing that we have dodge chance. So whenever we can buy the food that gives us dodge chance, which is like the, the, the bowl of something, the soup or whatever. Damn it! Mm. Yeah, I screwed up. I screwed up. Okay. Okay. Let's go for damage and weapon speed. That's good in every situation. Okay. Uh, blades would give us crit chance. Crit chance is fun. Hammers would give us crit damage. Whole arm would give us weapon speed. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, pole arms sound good. And also give me a nature dagger just to start off. A pole arms give us weapon speed if we have two of them. Maybe even more weapon speed after we have more. Maybe I'm just you know, you know, you never know. <laughs> Also, a knight with pole arms. That just sounds right, right? Plus, in a fantasy setting, pole arms would be my weapon category of choice. Like spears, but not, not just pokey spears, but actually hitting and poking spears, you know? Or halberds and stuff like that. The, the, the cool fantasy version, not just the real realistic ones that aren't that great. <laughs> Okay, let's sell this so that we can get these two pole arms because a shovel is a pole arm, weapon speed and weapon range with four. Okay, yes. Uh, and we're gonna buy this blade because it just cost 10 so that we have something. So currently we're locked into fire and ice as well. That can change. Like, I mean, fire generally great. Ice with the chilling, I don't really know if I want that. But then again, I never gave ice a fair chance. Because I've never, ever <laughs> tried ice. I've 
I've uh, got it just because I can, but I've never actually played around ice and chilling enemies, stuff like that. So maybe I never gave it gave it a fair share, fair shake, fair, fair chance. That's what I wanted to say, fair chance. <laughs> All right, give. I mean, if the game offers, you know, it would be would be mean even like, you know. Would be bad if I didn't use it. Periodically ignite everything around you, dealing 40% weapon damage. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Rude is the word that I was looking for. It would have been rude for me not to go for it if the game offers, you know? Like, who am I to disagree? So, yeah, technically a shovel. <laughs> Not a bad polearm. I, I get it. Trident's also pretty cool. And you know, halberds with like just something with a blade that you can wield as a polearm. It's just, you know. I kind of really like that. Um, do we crit damage? No, but I would like crit chance. I mean... We don't have the money for it. This... Oh, it actually says, oh, I never realized that. It says the value here, value 10, that would bring us to uh, 35, 45. That's not nearly enough. I just want another pole arm. Yep, this one. I mean, I really want that one, but you know, couldn't be done. So we got the weapon speed, one more until we got the weapon range. We got our fire AOE. I mean, last time our AoE was actually quite substantially bigger. So, just picking AoE items was not as bad as I thought. Because the thing is, with uh, with small numbers like five or two percent, that's that that feels like nothing. Then again, in the great scheme, it is quite a bit at times, especially if you take it over and over. But it just felt like nothing. Okay, AoE size and crit damage. Do we have crit chance? Weapon speed. I think we just go for damage and weapon speed. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna take the nature shovel so that we have the four pole arms. Now we have ink. Oh my goodness. Speed, range, and then we're gonna take uh, get damage. Nature gain 3% chance to dodge for each missing health. That's not bad. Freeze lasts longer. Again, I, I'm not really a big fan of freeze. With these two, we would get 23 more gold. So yeah, I think we're gonna go with fire, holy, and nature. Possibly, probably. So I need more tridents and I need one more shovel. Like one more trident, one more shovel? No, one more trident, two more shovels. Something like that. Again, if the game gives us ice and not like nature then i'm gonna pick ice that's all right as well and again i mean with the pole arms with the increased speed and range it we would freeze enemies easier because we would hit them from further away and they would be slower coming towards us huh let's speed maybe he says what speed let's go yeah why not I mean, the game gives it, the game taketh away. <laughs> this one would be awesome, but we don't have the money for it. So all we need to do is get rid of this blade and either buy a nature trident or buy a uh, holy shovel. I'm leaning more towards the holy shovel, but like I said in the last round, actually an ice, oh no, we actually, we already have ice, Um, yeah. Whatever. Nature, it's not bad, but the way we are fighting, I think lightning or holy would actually make more sense than nature. Damn it. I'm bad at this. Weapon speed, crit chance, summon damage, AoE size and damage, or raw damage. Let's go with AoE size and damage. Let's upgrade our shovel. Come on, give me something good that's good but not what i need right now um 
I could sell this to upgrade one of these two. Ha! <sighs> Screw it. Again, we're back to five weapons. And now I really should look for more weapon speed. Like, our weapon speed is decent. But, oh my goodness, I ran into that one. Our weapon speed is decent and is increased, but just not nearly as good as I would like it to be. Okay, last dash. Okay, okay, we, we, we lived. Um, crit damage, weapon speed, crit damage, and damage, weapon speed, summon damage, weapon speed, damage. Um, let's go with weapon speed and damage. Get the fire shovel. Have six pole arms to increase our damage to 100%. Uh, all that's left now is to either get one nature or one lightning pole arm. Because that's the only thing that's not, uh, not great for our pole arms right now. We're, needing, we're looking for either a Holy Shovel, which is just a fun name for an item, <laughs> or we are looking for a Nature Pole Arm, which also pretty cool, especially if you like look at it from a perspective of just made out of tree, tree um, branches, just something a druid would have. Come on, give me something good, but first... Weapon speed, that's better. Yeah, let's go with more weapon speed. Those are good pole arms. Okay, um, that's 51 together, right? 44 plus, yeah, exactly. We can buy both of these. 25% chance to freeze when hitting chilled enemies. We have a chance to chill on hits. We can freeze. Don't really care about that, but whatever. Every six sec seconds, summon two lightning fields that last for two seconds. Oh, that's that's cool. That is cool. That's just more damage in a very small area, but who cares? If I were to upgrade AoE, which I should probably because we have the fire and now the lightning, I feel like that would actually be a good idea. Damn it. But yeah, the pole arms on paper sound better than they feel. You know what I mean? It's like, it, it doesn't feel as safe as I thought it would be with more weapon speed, with more range. Just standing there and be safe. Damage of weapon speed or damage, damage of weapon speed. The shovel that we can't take. We're still missing one weapon. And we don't get it. The thing is, I mean, it, it still gives us weapons that we haven't yet found. So I think it's not the fact that we already have six pole arms that we don't get any new pole arms. I think that's just pure luck and we are unlucky. Hopefully. Because I don't want to screw up again and sell one of my weapons. Because like that, it doubled our damage now that we have six of them. So getting rid of those or of one of them would really suck. Damn it. Health. We are decently strong. But, you know, any weapon that does sweeping strikes would be great. But then again, would probably make this uh, game a bit too easy. I'm thinking of something like a scythe or whatever. Crit chance, crit damage, crit chance, weapon speed. Damage, AoE size, AoE size weapon speed, yes. 35 or 80, okay, can't go for that. Why is the shovel so much cheaper? Whatever, let's go for the water shovel. Oh, it's water, not ice. Silly me. Can't even read. Okay, we are living, kind of. Are we living our best life? We definitely aren't. We're living our last life. 
which is something that can be said of everyone at any time. Yeah, died on level 11. I think again, right? Did both of our runs die at level 11? Possibly. Anyway. Ah! <laughs> you know? Ah! It worked. But. But hey. Thank you nerds so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye bye.